Motherfuckers, welcome back to my channel for a brand new speed build. I do apologize that this video is oh so freaking late, but I mean, at least we're here. Am I right? So, today, you guys, we are actually going to be creating a brand new casita for our 100 baby challenge fan bam. So, keep in mind, I literally had like 31,000 or somewhere um, around that ballpark to spend on a house. So, what I did is I tried to basically compact everything um, as tightly as I could just to get the best bang for my buck. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this house on the outside is literally, like, it looks like it's put together, but on the inside, it is a hot freaking mess. Pretty much just summing up Jen in a nutshell. I'm not even kidding. Like, I look like I've got it together, but inside, I'm, like, slowly dying, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm sure a lot of you guys can totally freaking relate. So, yeah, the house is a little chaotic, but I really love it. Like, honestly, if you guys were to download this and just kind of, like, renovate the inside to make it look like a more traditional home instead of basically a gigantic like sardine can um you can do that because i'm gonna upload it to the gallery at gen 2606 so anyway kind of went for a more traditional look we did actually go um to willow creek instead of i think i was gonna move to brindleton bay um but i really love like the lighting in willow creek i feel like brindleton bay is kind of like you know just a little it's a little dim and gusty um and i really wanted it to be able to experience like the different seasons whereas in oasis springs you kind of just get like summer and spring all year long and so jada was ready for a little bit of a change not to mention she was starting to gain quite the reputation in the big os anyway the real reason why you guys are here is probably not because <laughs> of my stupid speed build um you want to know what's going on because jen has got the tea she's got the juice um and let me tell you you guys i'm so excited for freaking 2020 so let Last night, y'all, um, I went with uh, Juan, I'm sure you guys know who Juan is, um, to a, a music concert, or I guess it's kind of like a concert. Do you guys know who Darude is? Let me know in the comments down below. So basically, Darude, he is like a freaking... EDM god or a techno god. I've been listening to him since probably before some of you guys were born. Like one of his favorite, or not one of his favorite, but one of his most well-known songs um, is actually called Sandstorm. And it is the most amazing, like hyphy, empowering, empowering, um, you know, track that I have ever heard. And it just gives me chills. And like, oh my God, I can, rem I can remember like wild and out in the car when I was at, like in high school and thinking I was that bad bitch, you know what I mean? Listening to my dog rude you know because it was like it was quirky to listen to techno back then anyway I don't know um I was a mess still am nothing changed but anyway I finally got to see him um last night in a very private uh kind of like close-knit setting which is amazing because typically you know he is pretty big um he plays in bigger venues like bigger like concerts and and things like that where you don't get to be up close and personal you guys literally I felt like a kid in a candy store I was right in front of his set I got to touch his hand I got to take a picture um, and tell him how much his music means to me, which is seriously the most amazing feeling in the entire world to be that close to someone that you've literally idolized like your entire life. And it was just amazing. Like it was the best. It was the best Christmas present I have ever freaking spent. Anyway, your girl, <laughs> she was Liddy off her titties. And I was like, you know what? Feeling a little lonely. I'm feeling a little like, you know, solitary in this moment. I need to I need to link up. So I actually actually was too drunk okay to get snapchat to work which is hey uh urban by the way my Snapchat. I don't even know if there's live on Snapchat, to be honest. But anyway, so then I decided, okay, Twitter. <laughs> couldn't figure that out. I couldn't figure it out, which is dumb because I've been live on Twitter before. Um, and then I was like, aha, Instagram. Um, Deadass had to Google how to freaking go live on Insta. But I figured it out. And I went live for 45 freaking minutes, basically just drinking, laughing, and talking to you guys, telling you a little 100 baby confession, which I can't even believe I told you that, by the way. In a nutshell, just to be able to have all of you guys like not all of you but it was like probably 20 people which isn't a lot honestly but I don't like my main my Instagram isn't really like geared towards you guys it's like my personal Instagram and so like if you got on there it was kind of like a strike of luck because it's not something that I plan on doing anymore although y'all are just guessing the hell out of me right now like telling me how much fun you had and anyway it's still up on my Instagram, okay, hey Urban, 
You can look at it, but I am deleting it because literally it is embarrassing. I was so drunk. I don't think that I just, I had no cares in the world and it was just amazing to be with you guys. And so anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and put up, you, uh, put up a bunch of screen grabs Woo! <laughs> from last night. Um, there's a lot to go through, but thank you to everybody who um, was a part of that experience to be able to like be there with you guys and see someone that I've idolized since I was literally a kid. Um, really, it was just one of those special moments moments and for the for the few of you that got to see me and like my element and um got to experience that with me I just I felt really moved and I felt super connected to you and I think you guys really got to see me in a whole different way and it seemed like you really liked me so that's pretty freaking awesome um I'm I'm like that regardless if I'm if I'm drinking or I'm not, um, but just to be completely transparent with you guys, I've been going through um, a lot of problems lately, uh, mostly relationship. Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm saying um a lot because I'm nervous as hell. And so kind of going back to the whole Juan thing, Juan and I are not together. And before you go, oh, my God, Jen, I'm sorry, blah, 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 like. It's not blah, 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 by the way. I don't want you to actually think that's what I think when you tell me those things. But um, I, I don't be sorry. OK, it's been a long time coming, my friends. Um, and I just I finally realized, like, I need to live my truth. I need to not be afraid um, to make changes and go with my heart and do the best thing for me and my kids and and the, that is for us to be solitary not to be together because I feel like you know we we bring out a lot of good in each other but also like we bring out a lot of bad and um not to get too personal because really though like I don't think you guys want to hear it and I just can't even really articulate what I'm even trying to say in the first place to be able to explain something like that to you but like basically I'm in a good spot with it it took me a lot um to come to terms with th the guilt that I was feeling uh for basically you know kind of being the the driving force behind it and I shouldn't feel guilty uh, you know I gotta be the best I can for my kids I gotta be the best that I can for myself like you know what I mean and and sometimes it's just better off that way anyway I know it's not gonna make a lot of sense and a lot of you guys are gonna be like what happened nothing really happened <laughs> to be honest it's just after spending 14 years with somebody um, we grew apart and yeah that's it like I just I can't really stress it enough or explain it anymore maybe one day I'll open up about it but for right now that's kind of just where I feel comfortable leaving it um and I feel like the reason why I'm becoming like public with it is because I've told a few people in the community like my close friends they all knew about it um but also because I was just on a live with him it seems weird right well we're gonna be great friends like, we still live together we're co-parenting all that jazz we're gonna be great friends like that's not gonna end you know just like that but um we're yeah we're not together so I just want you guys to like know that and it feels so good for me to be able to get that off my freaking chest because every time that I'm filming I feel like I'm like like I have all these things I want to tell you uh, or at least like comments I want to make when I'm narrating or like things that I want to say and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not living my truth and and that is something I will gladly say um, I, I I am living my truth and I've always lived my truth with you guys. And it's so important for me to be completely transparent, even when people probably wouldn't blame me if I wasn't, if that makes sense. Now, do you know everything about me? No, of course not. But, you know, a pretty good portion. And you also know your girl likes vodka Red Bull. OK, I really did. That shit was good last night. Let me tell you, it slapped. Red Bull gave your girl wings. So if you want to check out that, uh, that live stream you should definitely do so and um if you really did enjoy it genuinely and would like to see more of me um i think we should do that i think 2020 should be the year of of jen getting to know her and just killing the game you know so anyway that's what we're gonna do <laughs> letting y'all know um so make sure to uh comment rate and subscribe to the hot mess express because literally you wouldn't want to miss it um and yeah let me tell you a little bit about the build Ooh, that was like a genuine like woo, that, that, that was that was kind of cute i like that um so yeah, as you all can see, I am literally like setting up an orphanage right now. That's what it feels like. I feel like we are in the movie Annie right now and it was killing me. I'm like, oh my God, uh, this is probably 
see the point of the build where I really wanted to throw in the towel. I'm like, oh my god, but the outside is seriously so cute. Like, I love this style of house. I really do. And you're probably like, Jen, there's no way you're going to expand on this. And honestly, I probably won't be able to. Um, but for the time being, I feel like I really have enough room for everybody. And again, the reason why I went so small is because I don't have a lot of freaking money. And then I'm like halfway done or pretty much finished. And I'm like, dude, I still have like $14,000. The one time, okay, the one time that I didn't go like over and beyond um, that I actually have like a lot of cash left over. And I'm like, all right, well, let me just go and kind of clutter it up a little bit. We're going to, you know, juice up the space, kind of make each room look um, like it actually is a bedroom instead of just a place that I store my spawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yeah, so I went and I created like a teen room. We've got a toddler room. We also have um, three beds for the present children in the house at the moment. But literally everybody's going to be aging in the next episode. So like don't expect these rooms to stay the same. They're kind of generic um, in all facets. Like, they're not, you know, they're not going to be forever, like, teen, toddler. You know, it's just, it's going to evolve over time. Um, but Jada really loves the warm and cozy feels. She really loves kind of, like, this older, like, not 70s vibe, but older, like, contemporary business. But uh, I have no idea what the, the type of house this is. Like, it kind of feels like it might be a little mid-century, but, like, not at all. Like, 70s, like, talk show. I really don't know what I'm trying to say right now if it isn't obvious obvious enough but what I was really happy about is the fact that I was able to find a place in the house where I could go and kind of create a little like off step like a porch um so that you would have access to the backyard because obviously I have things like the pool we've got the little ball pits um we also have like you know <laughs> uh, Jada's mom that needs to have a place to rest and our cauldron I really was hoping that I would be able to create a basement and I think in this house you guys are finally gonna get that basement with the freaking mac and cheese like cauldron thing like that is everything to me I'm so excited um but yeah so we're, we're definitely kind of starting to complete the home um I did a lot of pushing and pulling just to make everything fit because I I wanted again it to feel very homey, cozy, and like literally you can smell each other's coolos. But also at the same time, I didn't want to give y'all like a heart attack and make you feel like you're claustrophobic because I was starting to feel that way too. And oddly enough, doing um, or creating more clutter was like it, it worked in my favor because then it kind of gave my eyes something else to look at. And it did um, kind of make the beds not look so apparent. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it's starting to kind of all kind of, you know, blend in and, and come together, which I really love. I love the girls room by by the way it's so freaking cute and even the little kitchen like you're probably also wondering hey hi <laughs> hello there where is the dining room table listen i don't care honestly the feeding thing grab a plate sit down knock your socks off not necessarily my 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 biggest worry you know I just want to make sure everybody has a place to sleep that we've got enough bathrooms and another thing I would like to address the reason why I don't have um, a double shower and a tub or the shower tub combo is because right now hygiene doesn't work so I'm wondering what I'm gonna do when uh, the uh, twins become toddlers like how am I gonna be uh, scrubbing scrubbing them you know what I mean like you can't like uh, put them in the sink like you could in the sims too I it's really this I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to cheat it honestly. So anyways, um this house is like I don't know why, but it's like one of my proudest creations because even though it is a literal like freaking mess, I love it. There is something so charming about it that I can't quite put my finger on like I cannot wait to freaking play oh and by the way if you're also curious to know where the hell Discover University is um on Twitter I posted a glitch that I'm having every time I click on the household it like kicks me back to the main menu I think I figured out what it was I'm not sure I haven't tested this theory but I think my wicked whims folder is in my saves and I actually had to give somebody that save and uh it, it's i think it has like nurse nurse as my wicked whims folder it's embarrassing i don't want to talk about it i have been literally like just slaughtering myself okay like this whole month i have I, I love myself i i really do like i'm starting to love this girl she is just a hoot and a holler i never know what to expect like i am constantly surprising myself when i think it's bad it gets worse but then when it gets great it gets better you know what i mean like i am literally a freaking roller coaster of emotions and I think that's why like a lot of you guys like me and I love you too seriously it was just amazing last night y'all don't even understand how much life you gave me and um, also support and 
you know, just determination, momentum, inspiration, all those things. You really have no clue how much of an impact that you all have on me, I don't think. And well, now you do. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Um, I can't wait to like interact with you guys in the comments, chit chat a little bit. Um, but if you want to download this disaster, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you can download it at Jen2606 on the gallery. And with that, you guys, I'm kidding. Let's try this again. And with that said, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, you know what? To do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time hopefully not a week from now no i'm just kidding i will literally see you guys tomorrow <laughs> bye guys <laughs>